The departing sunspots unloaded an X3.3 solar flare today as they turned towards the far side of the sun. The plasma ejection went offline to the south, and it was a long-duration event that lasted about two hours. There was a significant CME, but there is already a different kind of particle effect hitting the Earth. We hit level 2 proton storm conditions today, and they began in the minutes immediately following the flare. The ionospheric absorption profile can be seen first when the flare lights up the subsolar terrestrial zone, and after that, the polar region began taking the proton storm. This is an excellent moment to remember that it is actually more common for these proton storms to occur when the flare happens over on that departing right side there. This is the preferred magnetic connection point between the Earth and Sun, and when it is hit by a long-duration eruption, it surges that direct magnetic connection and sends high-energy particles through it which are then funneled to the polar region. Now when it comes to the CME eruption, I think this initial endless spiral is erroneous. It shows a less than quarter hemisphere eruption heading completely away from the Earth. And the first thing that makes me question this analysis is the wide coronal ripple during the flare. We'll watch it a couple times here. Watch how widely the plasma is disrupted, which usually matches the breadth of the CME. The kicker, of course, is the coronagraph imagery. While most of the ejection is heading out to the right ahead of Earth's orbit, it is clear that the eruption is very wide, and there's even a bit of a halo, as we see a portion of the plasma coming out the opposite side of the central blocking disk from where the eruption occurred. You can see that plasma emanating from the top left side. That's a glancing blow from this event, the side of the blast. It's possible Sunday night or Monday morning, I might even say probable, but it's not scary and minor geomagnetic impacts are all we would expect from it. Now, there are already two small potential glancing blows on their way from previous impacts, which would impact first, but none of them is going to cause any significant impacts. Since I've already seen comments calling this event an emergency, and I have seen videos on both YouTube and Twitter trying to scare the bejesus out of people, let me remind you, the position of the blast matters. If it's off to the side like this, it is far less scary. And if it is directly Earth-facing, then check out this rough estimate of how I would react. Yes, I care about any X-class flare. Care a lot more when we hit that X-5 level. At X-10, I am on alert and analyzing everything from the eruption to the sunspot's potential to create more. At X-15, I might be worried depending on what the CME looks like and how long the flare duration was. At X-20, I'm probably going to be worried no matter what and paying very close attention. And at X-30, I am throwing my kids in the car and we're heading to Observer Ranch. The sunspot is now heading out of view. We're monitoring the big one facing Earth, but it still remains pretty quiet. We'll have eyes on the solar wind as well for all three minor glancing blows that may be impacting Earth over the next three days. Remember, this is not an emergency, just interesting. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.